What kept you, Scope? Ah, shut up. Ha, <laughs> I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in San Fran, so I decided to see if you got better. Is that all your journey consists of, is following me and waiting for your moment to strike, Gary? You prick. All right, he's got Sand Slash. I guess I should have sent out Zora first, but no biggie. And go Beast, double exclamation point, because he has one in his name. Uh, Earthquake won't do too much here because he is ground type, so let's just go with Headbutt. And he's going to know Slash, which is an annoying move because it has a very high critical hit ratio, as you can see. And pretty much Pones. Swift. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm going to die. Let's see if we can trick him here. Use that Hyper Potion we found earlier. Why not? Clean up our inventory a little. I won't use it any other time. Mine's will use it against Gary. And he's going to use Poison Sting. Please don't poison me. You did. I hate you with all my life. And Beast's poisoned. That's alright. He handles poison like a like a trooper. Anyway, as you might notice, he has a crap load of HP too, which is why he's an awesome tank. He's just wonderful in that aspect. He can survive forever. And he's going to use Slash again. Please no critical, no critical hit. You did. But it didn't kill me. Sweet. Alright, maybe we can kill this guy. Maybe. Well, maybe not. Shit. Well, you know, it wouldn't be completely bad if we died. Yeah, we're going to die. But that's good. I just wanted to get him to the point of uh, death and send out Zor to finish him off because Zor needs to gain a level very, very soon. That would be wonderful if he could do that. He used a potion? Like a regular potion that heals 20 HP? Ha! <laughs> what a noob! Seriously, Gary? Oh my god. Wow. 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 Alright, he's going to use Magneton. We are going to want to switch out for that. Uh, I really wish Beast was alive to handle Magneton because we don't really have... Because Earthquake would uh, work wonders against this guy, but oh well. McCloud can uh, fare the best against this guy, I guess. If he had a better, you know, attack, that would be wonderful, but sadly all he has is his shitty Ember and Rage. And now he's confused. Why am I doing this battle in this episode? We're going to have to split this into two episodes because that is just too long. McCloud's confused. Use Ember, yeah. Tackle attack. I tackled your mom. All right, there we go, Ember. And he's about halfway through. And Gar thankfully Gary used his potion earlier. <laughs> oh, I'll never get over that. Ah, you're burned. Burn! Oh, I snapped out of confusion? Cool. Well, whatever. Don't hit yourself, McLeod. Don't do it. Oh. No, don't die. Please, McLeod, don't die. Uh, you know what? This is good. Because now I can send in Zor. It may seem like I'm favoring Zor right now, but he really needs to grow a level for... Uh, Numerous reasons, actually, mainly just one. Ah, your weak sauce. Hurt by the burn. It's a deep burn. Razor Leaf's going to be weak here, but... Yeah, Magneton's actually probably his most problematic Pokemon. It's really a pain in the ass. Alright, and Zorgo to 32. Cool, so we don't need to use him anymore in this battle. He's going to use Nine Tails. Yeah, we're definitely hightailing it out of there, you know? <laughs> Alright, let's send out Shellshock. Shellshock will make mincemeat out of nine tails if you catch my drift. Turn his ass back into a Vulpix. Alright, Bubble Beam for the Whizzle. Tail Whip. That should be like nine times effective since that dude's got nine tails. Is that why they call him Nine Tails? Oh my god, I get it. Ha ha. Man, that's like the sixth time Roar has been used against Shellshock in this LP and it's he's been unaffected. Right, let's finish it with bite. No, no, no. Okay, didn't want to jinx it. All right, Shellshock needs that uh, XP, so that's good. Hadabara. Yeah, let's let Denzi get in on the action, shall we? Hadabara. Hadabara. What other LP was I? Doing? Was that Soul Silver? Yeah, I think so. That's the only other Pokemon LP I've done. Oh, you disabled Thunderbolt, you prick bag. Oh no. Yeah, get get used to seeing these Kadabras because the gym in this city is actually psychic type, and as you can see, they're uber super overpowered. So it's going to be a pain in my arse. 
Uh, yeah, handling one of these guys is bad enough, but jeez. Alright, I've got faith that Haxioto can do it. He can do it to it. Wing attack. Don't disable wing attack. I'll kill your mother. Okay, thank god. What that, what that, what that? Critical hit, maybe? Oh, damn you all. Can quick attack kill him? I highly doubt it. But it'd be nice to think it would. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You rock, Haxioto. All right, and his Eevee finally evolved, as you can see, into um, Vaporeon. Level 42, holy ballsack. So I would normally use Denzi against this guy, but since Denzi's out of commission... Uh-oh, uh that's not good. That's super effective against Zorn. He cannot die in this battle. He cannot die! Okay, we need to get him out of there, because if he dies, the epic thing will not happen. That happens at level 32. Yeah, so we're switching. We're switching like nobody's business. Let's let's get uh, Shell Shock out there. But yeah, normally Zorda's pretty good against this guy too because he's a uh, super effective. But Vaporeon has an ace in the hole. He knows Aurora Beam. Let's uh, make a punch this guy. And yeah, he's level forty. So Jesus Christ, Gary, you've been doing some training. I see. Big a punch. That was a critical hit. Are you shitting me? Well, let's go for Bite, then. I don't think he has any more potions left. <laughs> oh, Gary. Are you going to damage me or what? Thank you. You just debuffed me like a little bitch. Fight me like a man. Okay, this could take a while. I'm not going to die here. That That's for damn sure. Okay, you can stop that. That's all right, because right when I send out Pidgeotto, you're going to die, because you didn't debuff him. You just spent all this time on Shellshock when he's probably not even going to be your killer. Why did I use Bubble Beam? I don't know. And nope. Back to Mega Punch. Okay, really? Do you not have any better moves? You could have long killed me with Aurora Beam, or Bite, even. Oh, maybe he will be your Destructor. All righty, then. That works. And shell shock, cool. And we defeated Gary, yeah. Oh ho, so you are ready for Boss Rocket. Boss Rocket, his name's Giovanni, and we already beat him, so you're way late, buddy. Now give me your money. What? Zora's evolving? Oh balls. Do 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 Man, they evolve really fast in this game. There we go. Zor evolved into Venazor. That's right. He's in his final thingy. His, that's his final evolutionary stage. Well, scope. I'm moving on up and ahead. But checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. You're just barely seeing that, dude? Oh my god. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot you out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Scope, well good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. Gary, I'm glad that you're aiming for the heavens with the Elite Four and all that, but you're just not that good. Sorry to break it to you. Buttercup. So yeah, let's check out Zor in his new form. So he's in his final form. That is his final evolution. Venusaur. So he's a powerhouse now. Grass and poison type. His stats are getting better. So yeah, he's good to go. And we could talk to this guy right here. Oh, hi, you're not a rocket. You came to save us? Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. And we get Lapras. Do you want to give a nickname to Lapras? No. There's no more room for Pokemon. Lapras was sent to Pokemon Box 1. Thank God. I was actually worried about this. I thought it would you would need a space in your party for this guy, but you don't. Thank God. So yeah, this guy gives you Lapras. It's very intelligent. We kept it in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. I think you will be a good trainer for Lapras. It's a good swimmer. It'll give you a lift. So basically, this is the only way you can get a Lapras in this game. And uh, what are you speaking of there is you can actually teach Lapras Surf. And it's a really strong water and ice type Pokemon. If you don't have one already then definitely get it there uh, and make that your po water Pokemon. You can hold out for Lapras, actually. Um, if we couldn't get uh, Shellshock in this game, I definitely would have gone for... Whoops. I definitely would have gone for uh, Lapras there. That would have been my next choice in any other normal LP. But Shellshock is just a bit better. You're good, 
but I'm better. Alright, so the reason I'm heading up here is we need to heal. <laughs> Big time. Because like Gary said, Boss Rocket is up ahead. What he's doing here? Well, as you may have noticed before, he had the Sylph Scope. Since when we beat him last time, he handed that over. So he's obviously got something going on here in Sylph, especially since he took the place over. I don't know. I mean, these guys obviously had control of this place before we were even gotten to Saffron City. So maybe that's how Giovanni got a hold of the Sylph Scope. Uh, I don't know. That's just speculation. Hold it right there, Brant. Uh-oh. I always forget these guys are in these places in Pokemon Yellow. Our boss is in a meeting. You better not disturb him. Yeah, so we gotta fight Team Rocket yet again. Jesse and James. Wherever there's Team Rocket, these guys will be around. Um, in red and blue, you just have to fight one Rocket to get over into the President's room, but in this game, you have to fight these guys who are much more problematic. Let's use Earthquake on Weezing. I believe he doesn't, since he doesn't have Levitate in this game, it will work on him. Thank God. And Earthquake is powerful. It's not as powerful when Snorlax uses it because he's not ground type, so you don't get the same type attack bonus. But it is super effective against Weezing here, so that's good. And Weezing is a tank, so if you can do that much damage to him, do it. Earthquake! Kill Weezing! Yeah! So yeah, this time they started with wheezing again. They like to just switch stuff up. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's send in. Let's send in Haxiodo. I mean, Beast could use some use a level or two to catch up, but to be honest, he doesn't really need it. He's pretty much good at what he's at right now. The our guys need it most because, you know, Beast doesn't evolve so. His stats are as good as they're going to be, but a lot of our guys still have some transformations to go through, so to say. So they still need to work towards that big stat boost. And Haxiodo's wing attack is... We f it's finally a regular flying type attack, which is what Gust should be. So, alright, yeah, your your glare's not working. You might as well just give up on that. Chadabak. What do we have? Ah, yes. Fly works quite well. Damn you. I told you to give up. You should have given up. Bite. Ouch. Okay, yeah, Arbok, you're going to die now because you're, you're starting to make me a little angry. There we go. That won't kill you, but one more will. You can't poison me because I'm paralyzed. Durr. Chadabak. And you're dead. Okay. All right. Mashing the A button here. And Hexiod grew to 32. Sweetness. He's getting there. And she, they're about to use Meowth, and since Meowth is virtually weak stat-wise, since they will not let it evolve, let's throw somebody out there in the same situation. Denzi, who also cannot evolve. So, and they're both level 31, what do you know? So these guys are a perfect match. I like to fight fair, you know? Oh my god, it like paused at like 30-something HP, and then it kept going. Either that or it was lag, but it's just like, eh, let's do a little bit more. There we go. Sweetness. We defeated Rocket. Team Rocket, Jesse and James to be exact. Like always. Yeah, you guys should give up by now. Team Rocket blast off at the speed of light. Again. Do do do. I bel that might be the last time we encounter these guys. I believe maybe there is one more though. And as you can see over there, it's Giovanni's ass just staring at the door waiting for us to come in. So let's uh, use the key card here. I don't believe it makes us go in yet. Okay, no. So let's use a super potion on Denzi. And uh, Haxiodo. Alright, I don't think we have any paralyzing... Paralyze. Oh no, we did get a full heal in here. Sweet. Yeah, so a lot of the items you pick up in here... Oh my god, yeah. See, Beast has a lot of HP because that won't even heal them all. Full heal. Let's use it on Haxiodo. Okay, and then let's use these uh, stat boosting items while we're in here. We'll use the protein. Use that on Denzi. Raise his attack. Very nice. And HP up. We will use that on who's hurting HP wise. Oh god, Denzi's down there in that too. He is just not having a good life. And calcium and carbos. Let's do it. 
Racist special, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he definitely needs the Carbos. Or no, the, no, he definitely needs iron. Iron is what raises his defense. That's probably his worst stack. His speed isn't too bad. All right, Rick Candy, who should we use this on? Well, he's the lowest level-wise, too. Shit. No, Beast is lower. Well, eh, let's go. With, I'll go with Denzi. He just needs it all around. All right, so I'm actually going to throw Shellshock out front, I believe, because this guy usually has water poke or ground type Pokemon. He usually always does. So let's save real quick. Yeah, I know we've been standing here doing so much crap, but you know, this is a big battle. Second battle, Giovanni. So let's go in here. Ah, Scoop, so we meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters, or experience a world of pain. And he walks all the way over here to battle us. So, something's going on here. He's trying to con the president into doing something for him apparently and this time he's got four pokemon let's do it night rhino night rhino don't think night rhino is a ground type pokemon i believe he's poison let's use ice beam and figure it out don't poison oh you son of a bitch every time i say that i've got to stop it ice beam hurt by poison near near well that actually works quite well let's use it again Ice Beam is just such a good move. It's much better on Ice-type Pokemon like Lapras. So yeah, if you're getting Lapras in red or blue, definitely save it for that. Let's use Bubble Beam. Guard Special. <laughs> Giovanni, you and your Guard Specials. You noob sauce. Alright, Shellshock grew to 33. He's getting on up there too. Persian. Yeah, we're going to switch. We're actually going to switch to Beast for this because Beast can wall a lot of Persian's attacks, because Persian is quite the foe. Let's use Earthquake. Payday! Yeah, if you didn't know, Persian is Meowth's evolved form. Duh! And that's his staple Pokemon, so they make it quite powerful. It's obviously very fast. I mean, you don't expect Beast to be fast, do you? Look at his ass. And he used another guard special. Really? I don't know, man. I just don't know. Don't know what this guy's issue is. Alright, Headbutt should be able to finish this guy off. Bite. Yeah. Yeah, but look at that. Beast just walled this dude. He should gain a level sometime soon here. Rhyhorn. Yes, for that we will switch back to Shellshock. Because Shellshock knows what's going on with Rhyhorn. He knows all about this guy. He knows his secrets. He knows his weaknesses. Uh, I would go with High Beam, but Bubble Beam has Stab, so... Oh yeah, one hit KO. Good call. Good call. <coughs> Dr. Pepper Burp. Mido Queen. Call me crazy, but uh, Zor would actually do kind of cool here, and it'd be nice to see his new uh, sprite and all, in his new form. Another guard spec? Are you stupid, friend? But, you know, Shellshock can, can wall it out here. Like I said, he's got more stat boosts to look forward to. And hell, if he's been going this good, why why stop now? I think he could take this guy out. Unless he pulls out some crazy maneuver here. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll be okay, right? Oh, yeah, we got to go first that time. That's odd. Oh, 1 HP. What happened there? Did he attack? Oh, there we go. That'll probably kill us. Ooh, yeah. Well, that's all right. So now we can... Get a cheap shiny with somebody that needs the experience. That's wonderful. Yeah, let's do that. Let's throw in McLeod, actually. Because he also has a transformation we're waiting for. And let's kill him with Scratch. God, that's embarrassing. Whew. Yeah, that must suck. Level 33, and I believe he learns a move here, so... About time. Yes. Slash. Oh, that is a great move. Hell yes. Let's get rid of Leer. Pfft. I mean, technically Slash is a 100 times percent better slack or scratch attack but oh we might as well get rid of leer because it's virtually useless at this point in the game Urgh, i lost again yes you did and i picked up 70 dollars from payday blast it all you ruined our plans for self but team rocket will never fall scope never forget that all pokemon exists for team rocket i must go but i shall return that's what you said last time buddy anyway in here what do we have scope turned on the pc yeah so there's a pc in here if you want to mess around with all your doohickeys 
Got a table here. And what's this chick? Secretary, thank you for rescuing all of us. We admire your courage, and she's blocking a sign or the town map so we can't look at it. So that's the president's secretary. Let's see what's going on with the prez here. Thank you for saving Sylph. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Yeah, way to be conceited, asshole. Here, maybe this will do. And we get a Master Ball. Now, I don't think I need to explain this, but I will anyway. Uh, the Master Ball pretty much is a Pokeball that you can use in battle against a Pokemon, and it will work regardless of anything. It will work without... It will work without fail, basically. Use it, and it'll work no matter what. So basically, it's a one-time only catch any Pokemon instantly. So you're going to definitely want to save it for a harder-to-catch Pokemon, a good Pokemon. You know, uh, and you only get one in the game, so we're definitely going to be saving saving that for when we need it. I mean, you can catch pretty much anything in this game with an Ultra Ball. Uh, except for a select few, and that's who we'll be saving those for. One of those select few. Of my choosing. Ha ha. So anyways, we saved Sylph Company from the grasp of Team Rocket, and what you will notice is that after we have done that, most of the rockets will clear out of town. Actually, all of them will. So now a bunch of these doors will have opened that were previously blocked, including the door to the gym itself. So we're going to go check that out uh, in the next episode because we are totally out of time here. So I'll see you guys next time, and let's play Pokemon Yellow. Peace out.